Hi, George. Sure beats me, Barnett. You know who's been hijacking my trucks. So go out and put a collar on them. The courts are funny things, Mr. Wiley. They like evidence. Since I hired you on this deal, you've been working an eight-hour a day here every day, hustling packing cases. Every night, you've been out dogging some employee of mine or other you thought might be mixed up in it. So, you think you've got the right guy. All right, what are you waiting for? If we nail the inside, man, the guy who passes the information to the hijackers, they'll just get somebody else to finger their jobs for them. So you gotta let them hijack another truck. Is that your idea? Not exactly mine. No? Who's then? I'm not a policeman, Mr. Wiley. I'm a private investigator with a license to operate in New York State. Now, you've got your ridge running across 11 state lines. And the District of Columbia. If a truck is hijacked in Jersey or Connecticut, that makes it a federal case. You mean call in the FBI? If I make this case, it's just a local dogle. Why not make a federal case out of it? Help all the truckers. Everybody's insurance rates go down. That part appeals to me. Okay, I'll call the FBI. Don't bother. They're already here. What? Baker? Yeah? Mr. Wiley, this is Ev Baker. He's a special agent with the Department of Justice. Baker? I hired him day before yesterday as a mechanic. That's right. Barnett here gave us a tip. He's a good citizen. <laughs> Somebody might have told me. What for? You... He might have been the guy we were looking for. It seems he's not. You tell him you think it's George Grell? I'm not absolutely certain, but he's a likely. He's got a record. He drew three to five for grand larceny. And his parole officer's been having trouble with him lately. Nice guy to have working here as a checker. Listen, I don't ask for pedigrees. I got a help situation here like anybody else. There's freight to be moved. Yeah. Well, it's moving all right, but to some strange places. We thoroughly checked George's last two shipments. He's apparently in the clear. Well, what about Victor Daskus? You say you saw George meet with Daskus, hmm? Twice last week. Who's Victor Daskus? He's a known hijacker. We've been trying to nail that bird for a long time. Now, look, Mr. Wiley, if this checker, George Grell, is tipping him off on shipments, and we can discover which shipment, and if we can catch George and Victor, and the buyer in the act of commission, we've got a case. Well, it's all yours, boy, and I wish you luck. Now, wait a minute. I can't ask any of my drivers to stick their necks out on a thing like that. One of your employees must be driving when the truck is hijacked. Makes it a much stronger case. I don't care. Oh, easy, Mr. Wiley. Look, uh, Barnett here. He's on your payroll, isn't he? Why, yes, but since Good. you... Good. That makes him an employee of yours, Don't be it? so subtle, Baker. What do you want me to do? Mike, can you wheel one of those big tractor trailer jobs? Will you boys do me a favor sometime? Maybe. I'll drive anything that's insured. <laughs> so what are you guys going to do? Well, first, we're going to check George's bill of ladings and his route maps. And then every blind curve and bean wagon between here hey, and here. Yeah. It's noontime. There goes our boy George on the way to the diner. That's where he met Victor Daskus. You hungry? Yeah. Uh, Mike, one moment. Remember, you are now working for Uncle. I give the orders, OK? What's the first order? Apple pie and coffee. <laughs>
How's the coffee? Hi, Victor. Battery acid. Cup of coffee, that's all. Well? I got the loaded silk. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Look, Victor. Yeah. This is the first load, and it's also the last one. Don't bother me for any more. You're passing up your golden opportunity, George. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a golden opportunity to get back inside. I owe him two years short time now, but I can't afford to take another fall. You can make yourself a fast 2500 out of this. You can make that once a month. My fresh air. I like it outside. Ah, what do you make checking? 60 bucks a week. <laughs> You're rich. It's better than 25 cents a week. That's what you get for license plates in the state pen. You've got a wife, man. A kid on the way, too, from what I hear. Christmas comes once a year, you know. How are you fixed for duck events? What about the guy you had spotted before? Go back and get him. Why not? I can't. Poor guy's sick. Bum deal. Got three kids, too. Dr. Bill's coming in. He's in a bad shape, George. Said I'd do it, so I'll do it. I'll do this one for you. You leave me alone. Yeah, okay. Now what about the silk? Tomorrow morning. Pop a boat in Hoboken. Rides a ferry across the river. 1,125 pieces of silk. Meet me after work. No, I gotta get home. Dee Dee's waiting. Oh. Give her my regards. Tell her I was asking. Yeah, best of Gracie. Uh, it's a good deal. You'll see. I'll tell Victor, you talk to George. Mike, going back to the shop? Yeah. After we have a little talk. Talk? Well, what about? About your friend Victor. Yeah, well, uh, what about Victor? About the load he wants. Who are you, anyway? You want the cops? I'm with them. Well, who told you Victor wants a load? I just heard you close a deal with him. Can you prove it? Probably not. But we can prove Victor's a notorious thief. And it's a violation of your parole if you're found even talking to him. You're on your way back, George. I had nothing to do with those other touches. This is my first one. You're on the hook, George. How'd you like to get off? You mean? You'll help us now, I think so. Well, what kind of help? We want to know what load you're getting, by Victor. When, where, all about it. Oh, now look. Maybe a lot of things, but I'm not a squawker. You've got me in a box. No, you've got yourself in a box, George. And I can put the lid on it. So? What do you want to know? Everything from beginning to end. And remember this, George. If this deal gets fouled up, we'll know who to come to. Yeah. No. <laughs>
Set. You think you can navigate this, baby? What do you care? You live dangerously. We got a couple of blocks to the ferry, the ferry ride, and about 20 blocks of city before we hit Route 1. What do you think they'll jump us, Ev? Could be any place. Probably on the other side. Now we'll find out. that baby through as if you've been doing it half your life. We aren't there yet. What about our friends? They're still with us. Right behind. chilly this morning. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. You see my friend there? Now, just take it easy. All we want is the load. If you don't give us any trouble, you won't get hurt. Are the keys in the truck? Yeah. All right. There's a car right behind your rig. Just walk to it and get in the back seat. Go on. Put these on. They're blacked out, so you can't see where you're going or where you've been. Listen, you... You don't have to do any talking, mister. The less talking you do, the better off you'll be. And just sit back and relax. As soon as this tub docks, we're gonna ride around until that rig gets where it's going. If you don't give us any trouble, you won't get hurt.
got faith in our blonde hat, huh? Okay. We'll tell them to the drop and we'll close on there, right? Right. I'm going in to make a phone call. You guys wait here a minute. And you keep your eyes on them. I think they're gone, Mike. Look, twenty dollar bill for each of us. Standard procedure. It's supposed to help us forget faces. Jonesy. Fellas, all right? Well, a little bit on the frozen side, that's all. There was a car up there waiting for them. This one's stolen. Yeah, just as I thought. What'd they do with the load? Took it back across the river. They got a drop somewhere in the Bronx. I just hope we've kept them covered. That boy Victor's smart. If we've lost him, we just took a ride in the woods. Yeah. Where's your car, Jones? Back on the highway. Good. Let's pick this one up later. Long would be before she's late. About an hour, maybe. Good score, huh? Yeah. When will the buyer be here? Any minute. What are you going to ask him? I'm not going to ask him. I'm going to tell him. Twenty-five dollars a piece. That's all right. Uh, this rig will be light in an hour, Red. I want it out of here right away. Okay. Where are you going to dump it? Figure I'll take it downtown someplace and park it. All right, but be careful. Yeah. Hey, Victor, somebody's coming. Hey, it's the buyer. He's right on time. I hope he's loaded. Stand by. Right.
right, Mike? Just fine. Very thrilling. Should have been on that screen, not in front of it. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. Well, let's Don't get out of here before the second feature starts. Thank you. 